Welcome back to the Sir John Guy Stadium where Delphine Cascarino's goal has given France a 1-0 lead against Germany here. The quarterfinals of the FIFA Under-20 Women's World Cup in Papua New Guinea for 2016. Captain who has really led by example, but Milen Chavas at the other end for France has been uh, an equally important character. Pushing it onto the bar from Gerhardt at one point. Some very important stops. This is where we see what Germany are made of in the second half. Garbino, who had a chance right at the end of that first period to double the French lead, which was clean through against Schluter. No changes for the second half. Just waiting for the uh, signal here to allow uh, everybody joining from far and wide around the world to uh, tap into this. Certainly a match that is uh, going to be beamed everywhere and uh, hugely enjoyed so far. to go back 10 years for the last time that Germany failed to make the semi-finals. That was against the USA and Germany lost 4-1 in St. Petersburg. Since then they've been such a dominant and consistent force. You just expect them to appear in the last four. But France have other ideas today. The two European neighbours battling it out side of the world from their home countries. Germany in the white shirts, France the bleuette as they're known at this level. Drilled by Dina Rauschmann. Feldkamp and Hartig, Gerhardt wide, Marion Romanelli who was a late replacement here for Eloise Monsui, and filling in capably at that uh, right back position. Estelle Cascarino. This cue from Matt Ice. Dina Rauschmann playing behind her who scored that uh, really splendid goal herself against Korea Republic, the opener after 13 minutes the other day. Thanks Fleury, the one change in the France 11 before that injury to uh, Monsui. Here's Fleury to Gatra. Oh, super skill, she uh, slipped away from her markers there very comfortably. Great skill. These two semi finalists, semi final opponents, no less, two years ago in Canada. 2 1 to Germany that day. And Fleury, Clayton Push. It's already looking a formidable lineup in the semi-finals. Whichever of these two sides does go through, it's going to make for a fantastic lineup in the last four. 
Semi-finals being played back here at Sir John Guy Stadium next Tuesday. And then we have the final in the third place playoff at the National Football Stadium down in town on the following Saturday. That's the 3rd of December if you want to make a note in your calendars. Here's Matt Ice. Karshawi glued to it. Germany come on stuck. Fleury. Estel Cascarino. Germany finalists in each of the last three editions. Winners in 2010, 2014. And before that in 2004, three-time champions like the USA. The most successful country in terms of uh, matches won of all time. They have the most successful coach of all time. Like the USA, Germany have been at each and every edition. France missed out on a couple. They missed out on Thailand back in 2004 and Japan in 2012. on by Matthijs, Freigang, straight to Gatra, now Matteo, oh great pace, she's got the beating of Dina Rorschman, nearly threaded a beautiful ball through but for the long legs of Pia Zofie Volta. be absolutely reveling in the chance to uh, come and see these top flight players. Gatra here for France. Delphine Cascarino with Romanelli operating down that flank with her. Okay, Kevin. Romanelli who uh, Played the game against Ghana, but that's her only appearance so far. Morsui has been the preferred choice at right back. <laughs> Think about the uh, structure of women's football in Germany. It's uh, always so strong at all levels. Asia certainly uh, mounting a sizeable challenge here this year, as they did in uh, Jordan two months ago at uh, under 17 level. Oh, nice running here by Fleury, still going, and Delphine Cascarino on the right. There are three against three here. As long as she doesn't hold up, she's got Garbino wide. Volta comes across. Hooked away by Hartig. Very neatly done. Fleury in the team in place of the uh, France number nine, Marie Charlotte Leger, who came off in the last match against New Zealand, just approaching half time, and has been training. I saw her running around the track. Two or three of them just uh, running separately. She was still mobile enough to do that. She is among the substitutes and available. When I said to Ajile Kem, is she uh, fit and able to play? He just said, well, look over there, she's running round. And that was his answer. Whether she's 100%, uh, I suspect not, but uh, 
no reason to risk her when they have a capable replacement here. Now Karshawi. Really well defended Estelle Cascarino, didn't go diving in. Must have been sorely tempted to do so. So many sisters at this year's tournament. Cascarino's, the Orshman's here in this match today. Flores in the United States of Mexico earlier on today. from up here but uh, referee came right up with the action now Gaoro trying to slide it in for Delphine Cascarino fly game for Germany got Matteo chasing back what a great piece of recovery play that is for France Matteo great pat on the back for her in a moment I'm sure Fleury Louise Fleury and the touch from Garbino just didn't work out for her there's Matteo Tremendous bit of defending from the front. <laughs> Tension down on the uh, sidelines for the two coaches, Murray Minot and Gilles Kem. Balls out here. Alex will have it. Noticeable how Dina Orshman, as soon as she scored the other day, first person she thought about was her sister Katja, who was uh, among the substitutes, came running over to the bench, jumped up, gave her a huge hug. It's Sanders. Goodness me, Sissoka. <laughs> right there with her, giving as good as she gets. Call tight marking. Don't let the big German number 18 get away from you. That's clearly the message to her. Floated in here, and Sanders is there again. Sissoko. Back by Knack. Must give uh, the French defenders enormous confidence when they've got Milen Chavas behind them here because she has been outstanding today. Very good tournament so far. I mentioned the penalty save against Ghana as well the uh, second of the France group matches is Freigang Zeha in the German team in place of the injured Madeleine Gear oh Matthias caught by Fleury free kick behind that line players have to be behind this one that has to deliver and then Shavash just looking at who's going to be making the runs in look at that a line across the edge of the uh, France penalty area Matthijs with it Bino can bring it away here for France. Buy them some breathing space potentially. Is that out? No, not quite. Oh, well, Sissoko, there are times she is just immense at the back for her country. Here's Estelle Cascarino to Sissoko. One to chase. Delphine Cascarino released here by Sissoko. Defense to attack in one swift ball. In goes Gatra. Drops here for Matteo. Kept alive here. And Garbino's flick turned away for the corner.
Leicester, the chances have fallen to France players. So Volta with the follow-up clearance for Germany. Garbino now with a corner. Watch for Delphine Cascarino near post. Are they doing that again? They are. Germany don't seem to have uh, learned from the first half. And off they go with Sanders. came in here, Matteo tried to pick her spot, it was Kanak who was back covering that far post. Shino Ken wanted France to protect the ball and keep possession much better as the tournament has gone along and they've been doing very well at times today. They've certainly not been uh, overawed by Germany's reputation. Presented there to Romanelli who stole in. Might get another chance here. Oh, she, well, she wiggles free, but... Uh, who didn't like the way she won it back. Tripped her opponent as she turned. Dina Orschman, that ice, running into Karshawi. She's done very well at left back. No point going across goal, so cleverly plays it off the uh, German number 19, Saskia Matthijs. Oops, flurry, a little bit too flowery. Here's Estelle Cascarino to Karshawi. Flurry. Matteo. Garbino. They've worked it well here, France, and Deoro gambling on that ball coming through the middle. Three uh, doesn't like uh, the challenge from Deoro, I think. Uh, she just catches Hartig. Oh, Minot with half an hour for Germany to save the day here. Again. Very smart defending from France. The crowd really appreciating the skills of Karshawi. Still, Cascarino needs to wriggle out of a tight hole. Deoro in ahead of uh, Freigang. Now Fleury, Garbino. Taking up some very good positions, the France forward players. Just finding little pockets of space to dip into. But Germany are by no means done yet. Dina Rorschman trying to get through Garshawi, who's resilient and resourceful. And that's not the best of clearances between Chavez and Cascarino, Estelle of the sister variety. wrong there and that was uh, under hit from Chavas. I do feel with France they do have the ability to shoot themselves in the foot at times. Germany's coach going ever more incensed. Matthijs. Players coming in. Sissoko hammers it away. Garbino tries to flick it. Oh, Germany's last defender. Oh, 
good game to watch this one. Certainly Japan will be studying this one closely. Their opponents in Tuesday's semi-final here. Dina Orschman, Matthijs on the outside. Well defended again, Karshawi. Kanak, Zahan, Sanders, all options here. Matthijs with it. Hartig. Tricky bounce. Goal kick. This was a bit of an up and under, wasn't it? They like their rugby league in these parts. Germany uh, and France potentially both making a change shortly. Marie Charlotte Leger is uh, being readied by France. So maybe not 100%, but clearly okay to uh, play 25 minutes and possibly even half an hour longer. Gatra in towards Matteo, hooked clear. Germany, but only as far as Delphine Cascarino, who's done well to get to the byline. In goes Matteo, it's out again by Germany. France just keep coming back at them. Sanders does that so well. This is where France mustn't overplay it. Sissoko, Gatra, Estelle Cascarino, Karshawi wide. Germany to bring on Dirta Herpius, France to bring on Mary Charlotte Leger, and she's coming on in place of uh, Mael Garbino. A big round of applause for Garbino. She didn't take uh, the chance right at the end of the first half, but she's uh, played a key role in this today. Have to see how uh, this settles down. Uh, Zahan is the player being replaced by Hoppius. Leger here, and the number nine mistake there by Volta, pounced upon by Matteo for France, no one else with it, Leger's arrived now, and in comes Gatra, but Freigang clears, France pick up the loose ball, too slow was Fleury, and now Gerhardt, and Herpius, Card shown to Romanelli. Very late. Spreading it to Orschman. Orschman, who fancies a crack from there after a thunderous goal against Korea Republic. Why not? She's taken out uh, her marker there and opened up 
something of an angle. Shout has to be fair to her, did uh, protect that near post area. Matthijs, Dina Oshman. And again, another super save by Milen Chavas. No wonder Sissoko goes and pats her on the back here. It was spinning off the back of Karshawi. It would, I think, have just looped in. Hoppius comes in behind. France clear momentarily. Get it away for another corner here. So we've got a very crowded six yard box. Fry gang. Feldkamp. Sanders all there. Kanaka stayed forward. So cross not deep enough. Just her performance today, Milen Chavas will have put herself in uh, contention for the award of the Golden Glove. We'll have all the awards in just eight days' time. Golden Ball, Golden Boot, so best player, top scorer, Golden Glove, best, best, best goalkeeper. Now Mary Charlotte Leger. Good running here by Matteo. Really a great team player here for France. Not just about the goal she scores, but about the effort she puts in for the rest of the team. Glanced on by Sanders. Pass Gatra. Gerhardt. Romanelli doing well to keep her on a tight leash. Dolphin Cascarino swerving, meandering through that German midfield. Now Matteo with Kalshawi, a willing runner on the outside here. Sensibly trying to feed it in. This wonderful shot from uh, Orshman that took the nick off Karshawi. Made the save all the better from Shavas. Corner then for France. Towards Matteo. Delphine Cascarino. It's a side netting. Fleury. <laughs> France are 20 minutes away from uh, what uh, to the outside world will probably be seen as a big upset for Germany's reputation. Not an upset on France's performance tonight. They've competed admirably against uh, the three time champions, the reigning champions. Flurry on the turn. The onus very much on Maren Miner of Germany to turn this one around. Joel Vedemeyer, one of the uh, players who was in Canada two years ago. Four survivors from uh, that tournament. I remember later Petterman. Scoring the goal in extra time that beat Nigeria in the final in Canada. Leger and Fleury. Back for Leger. 
Well, she's away from one, but she does need support. She's got it in the shape of Graske Oro. Don't leave it for each other. Romanelli. Matteo. Oh, look at the pace she's got there. Tremendous acceleration here, and she's trying to play it across for uh, maybe Leger or Fleury. Clara Matteo, outstanding today. Contribution for the team and the uh, quality of her running. Gatra. At what point do France dare to dream? Probably best not to think about it in truth. Estelle Cascarino. Gaora. Karshawi. Losing out here with Germany having two in opposition. Here's Matai Gerhardt coming in. There's Sanders. a high hanging one very difficult for Sanders to get too much power behind the header when it's hit lower and flatter the pace on the delivery you don't have to do so much with the header forward by uh, Volta Hopius Matthijs good tackle in from Estel Cascarino, Kashawi caught late there. And uh, Sanders won't do well not to get a card. The cooling break is signalled. Off they come. Actually, it wasn't as bad as it uh, seemed at first viewing. And France still with this 1 0 lead. Delphine Cascarino after 16 minutes. Getting up towards 10,000 here then today. Here's Teo Greboval, who was captain in the opener. Powerful runner down the left side. She's uh, been struggling to uh, play in the last couple of matches because of an injury picked up early on in the tournament. It's going to have to be another late show from Germany. One or two little moments of uh, skill and the frustration of Mara and Mayan, it's all too visible. The team, not the dominant force today, although they have had twice as many shots as uh, France it has to be said but possession very even I think Cascarino's goal still the difference between Germany and France in this FIFA under 20 women's World Cup quarter-final so Adina Orschman comes off and Joel Wedemeyer is on And now Louise Fleury replaced by Thea Grebeval. Interesting to see that uh, Grebeval has stayed ahead of Karshawi here. He uh, started the first match against the USA the other way round down uh, the French left, but Karshawi is uh, keeping a very good watch on uh, Matt Ice in particular. So two changes each in total now. Delphine Cascarino, lovely play. Matteo, Leger through the middle here. Might have been over here.
So a little bit of a reshuffle has gone on. And uh, Hartig now has gone across to the right side of Germany's defence. Meyer. Interestingly, Kanak is almost playing as a centre forward now, the captain. Cascarino, Delphine Des Cascarino, I should say. Oh, wonderful acceleration again. Forces the corner for France of Volta. This is fascinating from Moran Minot here. Germany with a line of players along the edge of the six yard box. That's straight out of the uh, training manual. Matteo blocks it. And, uh, it's a goal kick for Germany with 10 minutes of the regular 90 to go. We will have at least three additional minutes for that cooling break. And that's how close France are to the semi-finals and how close they are to putting out the reigning champions. Well, Germany here going to uh, a back three and throwing a Rebecca Knark well forward. Hartig now operating on the right of the uh, three-player defence. Leger up against Vedermeyer. Matteo's there as well and Leger! Very close to number two. Struck it well enough. Hits the crossbar. Hit down all the time. Good technique. Schluter well beaten. Here's Hartig. Sanders. Certainly a big risk from Mara Minot, but uh, she's got to try and change the dynamic, the complexion of this match somehow. Veda Meyer, with bags of experience under her belt, tried and tested at this level. But Germany are uh, gambling to an extent here. Delphine Cascarino, Matteo, Romanelli on the outside for France, Leger waiting. Matteo steps in, and Clara Matteo, Leger, held by Schluter. Sissoko, now Gerhardt for Germany, as they chase the game down. Goal kick. Well defended, our Sissoko. So far she's avoided those uh, awkward little mistakes that have been very costly. Jennifer Gaugigel to come on. In place of Feldkamp. Well, you can't say that Mara Minot's not trying all the permutations here. Jennifer Gaugigel goes tearing into the penalty area. Germany have a corner actually. And the short one to Gaugigel. Well, that's not a very good centre. Sissoko lets it run for Shabas. Well, Germany clearly happy playing in a variety of different tactical shapes here. Kartik fouled. Every time France concede a set piece it's 
It's just a cue for Germany to throw all the big guns forward. Partick. Hopius. Gaugigl. Snuffled by Romanelli. Now Leger for France. There's always a danger of a counter here from the French, but it's got to be more measured than that. Cool heads needed here from Le Bleuet. Probably still around 10 minutes to play. 9 10 minutes. Vader Myers given possession back to France. That's a cheap one to give away. Germany have no more changes available before the 90 minutes are up. Maren Meinert has played her hand now. That was Volta. Now it's Freigang. Challenged by Gatra. Short for Gaugigl. Hippius. Matthijs down the right. Karshawi lets it run cleverly. Gau Giggle straight at Gatra. This is Graberval and Matteo. Awkward bounce though. Looking for Matthijs. Karshawi should deal with it. Sissoko does deal with it. Finds Grebevau looking for Leger. Nothing rash here from France. Leger against Vedermeyer. Told to get up. Referee just a few uh, metres away. Gau Giggle launching a long one. Romanelli heads down looking for Delphine Cascarino. And there goes Gatra. Just Leger in the middle for France. Matteo just lurking outside the area. And sensibly, Gatra just buys a little bit of extra time. We are very close to what will be a big upset. France looking to gain revenge for what happened in Canada in the semi finals two years ago. Leger. Only grab a foul there. She can retrieve it here. Karshawi behind. Karshawi. Leger comes in. And also, France looking for revenge for what happened in the quarterfinals of the last senior FIFA Women's World Cup in Canada. When Germany and France tied at 1 1. Goodness me, look at that for a chance. No wonder everybody gasping around the stadium here. Rebecca Kanak. Talk about ambitious. Fabulous dry. Not too far away. That match in Canada last year with the 1 1. And then penalties, Germany winning 5-4, it's broken here for Matthijs, 88th minute. Well, precise challenge coming in from Karshawi. Really has taken out Matthijs in the process. Well, the amount of additional time will be uh, critical here. I'm trying to think what... Uh, Significant injuries we've had. This one is uh, is a tricky one for sure. Well, when it's not a hedge injury, uh, those are normally required to be uh, receiving any treatment off the field. But there, uh, Karshawi, assertive. Goodness me, she really made that her own. Frustration at the delay here. It's a 
bit of a Mexican wave going around the stadium too for that matter. So Sanders and Freigang poised inside that six-yard area. Matthijs just jogging back to half-way. It's uh, Gao Giggle with the corner for Germany. And Sissoko should get there for France. Safety first. Matthijs ready to come back on here on halfway. She's back on. Germany back to full strength. France now just desperate to uh, keep it tight. No mistakes. 90th minute in Port Moresby. The defending champions on the brink, on the cusp of elimination. Harting. And that's the sort of ball forward that must frustrate the living daylights out of Maren Minot. Some very anxious faces down there on the German bench. Now Gatra, Matteo, six added minutes are signalled. Delphine Cascarino, whose goal separates the sides, towards Leger. Can Graeberval get there? No, she can't. Graeberval doesn't uh, look to me as if she's moving as comfortably and as freely as she did in the first match. Romanelli powers the header forward. Matteo again in that corner. Germany can't do any damage back there. Wind the clock down. Force Volta to give it away for a throw. France 100% in the group stages two years ago. Costa Rica, New Zealand, Paraguay. They lost in the semis to Germany. They won the third place playoff against Korea DPR. But Gilles Kem. For France to beat the defending champions here would surely be as good as it gets. Hartig. Up towards Sanders. Matthijs. Chase on here. Sissoko has to be strong and is. And gets the free kick too. Against Dota Hopius. Slightly sarcastic comment from uh, Murren Minot, I think, there. Not too sure what Hopius has done wrong. Well, there you go. In fact, there you are. Hand on the waist. Perfectly justified. Grebermal, Leger, Matteo, who really has drained the energy banks today in the national cause for France. Once again, she's bought some very important time for her and her teammates. Grebeval halted in her tracks. With Sanders in the team, Germany do always have that long, long ball as an outlet. There are still a little over three minutes for Germany. Don't count them out just yet. It's a thrilling finish in Port Moresby today. Rebecca Knack wearing the captain's armband. Jennifer Gao Giggle will smash it forward here. Now can France defend tightly? They need to keep their wits about them. Away by Gatra. Now France need to push up, back in by Gao Giggel. Through for Milen Chavas for France. Japan waiting in the wings. Tuesday semi-final. France two and a half minutes away. 
Leger. Balls out. Martin can't believe it. Contentious call from the insistent uh, referee here. Does the whole of the ball cross the line? I'm not so sure from here, but again, the officials, they're the ones in charge. That's their call. Kashawi to Leger, up against Gao Giggle. It's all a bit frantic. Germany have uh, sacrificed their original shape to commit more bodies forward. Just over 90 seconds now. Hartig for Germany. And Gatra with a wild swipe, but it comes for Delphine Cascarino. And she's just going to run at Germany here. Delphine Cascarino, potential match winner. Upside France. Gatra straying. Be as good a night for these young French women as they have ever had, I'm sure. They have been to the semis before, they were there two years ago, but the scalp that they are poised to take is as big as they come. They're smiling and laughing, they're not there yet, but they are mightily close. They could almost touch that semi final place. Flag up here, France have a free kick. And Gao Giggle on Matteo. No rush here from France. Yellow card shown to Gao Giggle. This is not a free kick to launch into the area. This is a free kick to keep tight, keep possession. from France tonight and Delphine Cascarino set to be the match winner with a glorious goal final seconds France have knocked out the defending champions and Gilles Kem falls to his knees Germany the most successful nation of all time at this event have been eliminated by a thunderous goal from Delphine Cascarino. It has been heroic from France. They've withstood a German onslaught in the second half. And Schluter and her German colleagues abject in defeat here. France into the semi-finals for the second edition in a row and they gain revenge for that upsetting defeat to Germany two years ago in Canada. What a result. They're through to face Japan in the semi-finals. It's finished. Germany nil. France won. And here's the story of the match, statistically speaking. Very even possession. Germany piling on the pressure with the shots, but France withstanding, repelling, and with great organization, great composure on the ball. They have made it through to the semi finals where they'll play Japan. Germany, the defending champions, are out here in Papua New Guinea. So now we know all four semi-finalists will have Korea DPR against the USA. That's a familiar matchup from recent editions. And then Japan against France. No Germany in the last four for the first time in a decade. Still the possibility of an all-Asian final.
in the spirit of threat, right, and friendship. So, team number three, we're going to come back.